Hello YouTube, it's Everything Pan here, and today I'm going to be showing a video tutorial on how to install OpenSUSE in VirtualBox or VMware. Uh, this is another version of Linux, and it's a uh, version of Linux kind of uh, for business users that I've seen. It can be used basically for anybody. I don't really know what I was really reading, but... OpenSUSE uh, version of Linux. Um, I did Linux Mint last video, and I haven't done Linuxes in a while. And their OSs are kind of uh, interesting. It's a little different to see what the different Linux OSs there are. And there's a lot of them out there. And OpenSUSE is one of kind of a popular one. Not as popular as like Ubuntu or Linux Mint or those ones like that. And you can find the ISO link down the link in the description along with VirtualBox and VMware but be aware this ISO is huge 4.7 gigs and you can download either from direct link, BitTorrent, Metalink or PicMirror and I believe I did direct link otherwise if you do a torrent you'll have to get like uTorrent and extract it so you want to do direct link and then after you get all that you want to open VirtualBox or VMware I'm going to use VirtualBox for the purpose of this video and you want to create a new machine I'm going to call it OpenSUSE and as you can see this already selects it as OpenSUSE 64-bit I'm going to leave it there I'm going to bump this up to um, 2 gigs of RAM next and you're going to want to create a hard drive that's bigger than 10 gigs oops I just created one that's 8 gigs you want to create one that's at least 10 gigs because it requires I believe at least 10 gigs in order for the OS to install so you're going to need at least that much of hard drive space so I messed up in the last one there we go we'll put 15 gigs just to be on the safe side you're going to hit settings after that go to storage hit the empty disk go to this here and choose your ISO file and you can see there it is right here go ahead and hit OK and OK there and then you're going to start the virtual machine Linux Mint didn't have a actual like selection for their ISO or whatever from that thing and you can uh, so I just used Ubuntu for that but this one has its own so this gives you a couple options here it says uh, you can boot from the hard disk do an installation upgrade rescue system check installation media or memory test now what happens if you hit boot from hard disk um, is you can basically um, run OpenSUSE without harming your actual host operating system so if you were to burn this to like a flash drive for example it would not harm your host operating system and you can easily load up the OS test it out and everything see if you like it and then you can go through the installation process if you think it's suitable for you or whatever like that and sometimes it could take a while so um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and reset the machine but that's what you would do if you would uh, want to run it instead of just installing it right off the bat and that could definitely save you from possibly um, messing up with your host operating system but for this purpose we're going to go to installation it says loading Linux kernel Gonna load the percents and everything. And if you see all these uh, messages and everything here, they're not really errors. It's just uh, it's starting up the setup, basically, like that. And there you see the loading bar down there. And it doesn't show you. It doesn't tell me what uh, version this is. Uh, it looks like it's 42.1. Correct. That's yeah, 42.1. This is a 64-bit edition, by the way. A lot of you should definitely be using 64-bit. Not a lot of people should be using 32-bit. I'm going to start the installer. Now you see the screen got a little bit bigger, so we're going to go ahead and make this full screen. It should come up with the language first in the first part of the setup. 
do a little bit of work here, initializing. Get a little circle in the mouse cursor. That just means it's loading all the setup files in order for all this to kind of just go through seamlessly without any problems. And there you see uh, language and keyboard layout first. You can test it here. And once you get that selected, you're going to want to go ahead and just hit next. And now it's going to load some more files. And now it's initializing. And then these are installation options. You can add online respiratories or repositories before installation. Include add-on products from separate media. We're not going to click those. We're just going to hit next. And we're going to just leave this as it is. But you can mess with the partition setup if you're like if you're partitioning with Windows or anything like that. But I'm just going to leave it because this is the only operating system installed on this. And we are in Central Time. And I'm going to hit next. I'm going to initialize again. And you can choose what kind of desktop you want. If you want either the GNOME or the KDE or a different one. And uh, for my purpose, um, just because I didn't even know this was going to pop up, to be honest, I'm just going to go with GNOME just because that's um, one that I'm more familiar with. And so you're going to want to type in a uh, full name, password because it already has a username and that should be good so go ahead and hit next oh you have to have five characters oh never mind yes you can skip it so it's going to now go through basically um, a confirmation type deal of if you want to install this and we're going to hit install and then we'll confirm it by hitting install again and it's going to go ahead and do the starting installation and uh, going through the parts of getting OpenSUSE installed on your drive. So you're just going to have to let this sit. This can take some time. Um, it could take from 5 to maybe 15 minutes, maybe 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes. This shouldn't take you too long. So I'll be back with you guys once we hit a restart screen or when the installation's finished. Okay, so after the installation has been successfully completed, it will ask you to reboot your system. So I just already let the whole thing count, but you can click OK to restart the machine. It's going to restart. And um, I believe you sh probably should take out the uh, ISO. So we're going to reset. And we're going to hit enter for that selection. Well, I guess we'll just let it go. It's going to load up OpenSUSE. You shouldn't have to do any more with the installation. I think it should be completely finished. It'll come up with the uh, boot screen here with the nice green colors. Kind of the theme of OpenSUSE. And you should be getting to the log on screen very shortly here. And it's full screen, which is nice. Get the light bulb there with the, uh, I already forgot what the animal is. I want to say chameleon, <laughs> but I don't know if I'm right. So it's going to load up. So I actually just realized that there is no log on screen. This is the operating system, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I clicked, I was experimenting, I clicked activities up here and I'm like, oh, okay, there's some applications. So we're logged in already, actually. I just looked, as you can see, we're logged into the Everything EPAN account. And we can go ahead and go into Firefox. And that is the built-in web browser on this. It'll get you to open SUSE search, and if you go to oops, youtube.com, you can test to see if the internet works. And there you go, internet works. You can search for a channel, and it should, yep, there it goes. You got the videos up here, and that's it basically. Um, that's open SUSE.
Uh, this is kind of a different uh, operating system. You can kind of tweak around with, check it out. Uh, it's a little bit of a different Linux operating system than the rest of them. But that's how to install OpenSUSE in VirtualBox or VMware. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, comment down below your ideas. Um, I'll try and get to them. I know there's probably going to be a lot of repeats and everything down there. Let me know of any Linux OS's you want to see. I'm kind of curious on, as to see if you guys want to see any Linux. Because um, some of these are pretty interesting. And also like the video if this helped you out. Share it. Um, subscribe for more videos. I keep saying this. We're nearing a thousand subscribers which is insane. And I thank you guys for that. So hopefully we can reach that milestone soon. Um, I'm getting this video out too just because next week I will be on spring break and I will not be here I will be away on a kind of a vacation trip so I will not be here so there will be no uploads uh, within the week next week so once again thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video